always working. What are you up to there? Hi, I want to go over a question with you today, that, and I want you to focus on the mechanism and the arrow movements. It's known as the Appel reaction. You're not going to see this in any of the undergraduate books, but that's all right. It's easy enough, and I think you can handle it. What I want you to do is make sure you understand how the arrows moved. Let's have a look. What I'm going to do is I am going to take R-3-methyl-2-butanol, and I'm going to convert it into S-2-bromo-3-methyl-butene. And I am going to treat it with a chemical called triphenylphosphine and carbon tetrabromide, and I'm going to heat it up. The reaction could take anywhere from 1 hour to 25 hours, depending on the substrate conditions. All right, let's look at how the reaction happened. Now, I'm going to write the phenyl group, which you know means this group. That's the phenyl group. But I'm going to write it as a circle, and I'm going to put a little line through it like this, just to make it look prettier. All right, so we start off with our nucleophile triphenylphosphine. And look at the way the arrows moves. It moves towards the bromine, and this moves towards the carbon. So as you can see what that gave me, it gave me the bromine now attached to the phosphorus, and it gave me this carbanion. Once we have the carbanion set up, all I'm going to do is to deprotonate the alcohol. Notice I'm not changing any stereochemistry here. I'm not breaking anything in the chiral carbon. I'm just taking this H off. As you can see, look at the arrow movement. And that's going to give me this, which is bromoform, and the deprotonated alcohol. I'm going to then take that deprotonated alcohol, and I'm going to attack this molecule here. You might say, what is this? This is a triphenylphosphine bromide, if I sing it that fast. As you can see, we're going to attack the bromide. And as you can see what I've done... Again, we are not breaking anything on the chiral carbon. And as you can see on this attack, the bromine is leaves, leaves us. Now the bromine comes back for the attack, does a backside SN2 to give us the inverted product, and, of course, the byproduct triphenylphosphine oxide. So there you have it. We've inverted the alcohol in a reaction called the Appel reaction. Don't worry about the name of the reaction, but understand how the arrows have moved. This is a new type of question on the DAT exam. Even the MCAT exams, they'd like you to understand how the arrows move. And once I make that movement, what is produced? All right, I hope this helps. Wow, thank you, Dr. Romano. I'm going to go for a 30 on the dad. I'll make sure to know how to do that. I'm going for hot chocolate. You want some? No, good way to you. Bye-bye. Bye, Dr. Romano. Wow, he never wants anything.